Have you ever seen a Tellurian? I hadn't thought this one, and I must admit I'm very impressed. So, what is it and what does it do? Well, first of all, it shows the movements of the Earth, Sun and Moon very accurately. And this is a precision instrument. All the years are very carefully made, and as you can see, they're all made of brass. And this will predict eclipses and show you just how these three bodies behave. It's also highly decorative, and you can build it yourself. There are instructions here in the magazine, and you can build it by even by anyone as ham handed as I was. And if you do, I think it will give you hours of enjoyment. So I'm very impressed with this, really. Hi, I'm Lou Camels, and I designed this Earth, Moon and Sun Orbiter, or Tellurian, as it's properly called. From a very young age, I've always been interested in puzzles and astronomy. Uh, I studied engineering at university, and one day I just decided that it would be really nice to combine all three interests by de designing the Tellurian, which uh, models the relative motions of the Sun and the Earth and the Moon. Um, I did have a look on the internet to see what had been done previously, and if you look yourself, you'll see that uh, over the last 100 years, um, many people have built different Tellurians. Um, and some, some have more features than others, but there wasn't one Tellurian that I could find that really included all the features that I felt a Tellurian should have. Uh, I've tried to include all these features in the Eagle Moss Tellurian, and I hope you'll agree when you see it uh, that that's the case. The Earth, Moon and Sun Orbiter is an astronomically accurate model of how our planet Earth and Moon orbit around the Sun. It can be used to predict solar and lunar eclipses and it differentiates between the types of eclipse that can occur. For example, handy markers on the model help you to predict annular eclipses where only a thin outer ring can be seen as well as total solar eclipses. The model also demonstrates the different phases and cycles of the Moon. The intricate movements of your model orbiter will bring the Earth, Moon and Sun system to life right before your very eyes. It is an astronomically accurate piece of equipment, echoing classic scientific instruments of centuries gone by, but it contains several design features that make it totally unique. The model has eight different precision-engineered drivetrains to work its many functions. The gear ratios have been meticulously calculated to give the best possible match to the movements of the real Earth, Moon and Sun. As your model grows, you will learn about all its fantastic features. In the meantime, take a look at what you will be able to do. The Earth rotates on its axis at 23.5 degrees to the vertical and maintains its position as it orbits the Sun. In this way, the model demonstrates why we experience the different changing seasons in the Earth year. The model also shows the Sun's rotation. The speed of the model is controllable, but at full speed, the Earth rotates on its axis once every two seconds, showing one Earth day and night. At this speed, the Earth sweeps around the base once every 12 minutes. This revolution is one Earth year. The Moon ascends and descends as it journeys around Earth. This is because the Moon's orbit is inclined to the ecliptic, a plane passing through the center of the Sun and Earth, by five degrees. The inclined plane around which the Moon travels is itself rotating. It wobbles round or precesses once every 18 years or so. The Moon undergoes various lunar cycles, or months, three of which are demonstrated on your solar orbiter. The draconic month is a period of 27.21 days during which the moon rises and falls around its inclined plane. The synodic month is a period of 29.53 days in which the moon passes from one full moon to the next full moon. The animalistic month is a period of 27.53 days in which the moon travels around its elliptical orbit. This animalistic month is shown on a separate indicator on the base plate of your model.
By combining the relative motions of the moon and earth and including the subtleties of the synodic, draconic and animalistic months, your earth, moon and sun orbiter model will predict full and new moons and solar and lunar eclipses. A 20 millimeter block on your eclipse gear indicates when the moon is on a level plane with earth and therefore in the right spot for an eclipse. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and earth and a lunar eclipse occurs when earth passes between the sun and the moon. At the time of a solar eclipse your model's animalistic month indicator will predict what sort of eclipse you should expect annular where the moon is too small to cover the sun completely or total where as it sounds the sun is completely blocked out. The moon is held in a gravitational lock by earth and so the same face always points towards earth. As the moon revolves around earth we see its different phases from new moon to full moon. The base plate is beautifully engraved with the months and days of the year with an indicator to show the current date. Resetting your model couldn't be easier. Earth's axis and the gears can be lifted, rotated and positioned at any date you wish. Your base plate also contains a mechanical year counter that advances each time the Earth arm passes the end of December. This enables you to predict solar eclipses which occur on a repeating cycle every 18.6 years. Construction of the Earth, Moon and Sun orbiter model has been divided into eight easy to build stages. In stage one, you fit planet Earth onto its axis, then build up the drive shaft and gears below it, including the main Earth arm. In stage two, the moon is fixed onto its track and the solar eclipse gear and the moon gear are added. Next, the central shaft and its gears are constructed. This drives the earth and moon gears. Stage three sees the sun fitted onto its central column along with two of its larger gears. This stage also involves building the rest of the central column that holds the sun. In stage four, the drum base halves are supplied, fitted together, and the engraved base plate placed on top. During stage five, the year counter is added to the drum base. Also, the animalistic month indicator is put in place, and the gears that drive it are also fitted within the drum. Stage six sees the addition of the motor unit and control system. These will be fitted in this stage along with the bottom base plate and legs for the drum base. The components for stage seven include the two chains that transmit power from the motor unit to the drive shafts on your model. The final stage eight is the easiest of all. You will collect a special illuminating sun that you can use to demonstrate eclipses and also the power adapter for the model. Just plug the adapter into the base unit and switch on your earth, moon and sun orbiter.